All right, guys, today we are talking about YSL Tuxedo versus Mustache EDP. Who will come out on top? Want to find out? Then stay tuned. Another fragrance review. Welcome. I'm glad you guys could join me. I hope everybody's doing okay. And if you're new to the channel, thank you. I'm glad you're here. And if you've been a long time subscriber of mine, welcome to you as well. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. Today, what we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about YSL Tuxedo versus Mustache EDP. So let's just go ahead and dive right into it. So standing in this corner, we have Mustache EDP. Moustache EDP was developed in 2018. The nose behind that is Natali G. The top note is pink pepper, mandarin orange. In the heart, we have cedar and rose. And in the base, we have benzoin, vanilla, and patchouli. All right, and then standing over in this corner, and I've just got a decant, but I'll put a full bottle presentation so you know what it looks like. We have YSL Tuxedo. In the top, we have violet leaf, bergamot and coriander and in the hearts we've got rose black pepper the lily of the valley in the base we've got patchouli ambergris and bourbon vanilla all right and so what i've went ahead and did is i sprayed two test strips ahead of time and so my wife doesn't know which one is which and i just want her to come on camera and just give an initial impression of which one smells good right off the top now, I actually wore this all day yesterday. I wore Moustache EDP on one arm, and I wore YSL Tuxedo on the other arm, and I was comparing them all day to see which one smelled better, which one lasts longer. I sprayed it right before I went to work, which is around seven o'clock, and then I was still uh, testing them out when I got home from work just to see which one performed the best, which one smelled good, and so I'll let you know my results of that. But before I do that, let's go ahead, go ahead and have my beautiful wife, Mandy, come on in and sit by me hello to everybody hi you guys have met mandy before we've done other videos we did the mask milano video and she's uh appeared in many other family videos that we've done together so what i've done is i've already went ahead and sprayed these test strips with both and i'm not going to tell you which is which i have them marked so i know what's what but go ahead and uh, give me your initial impressions of that one if you can What do you think of, the, of that one right off the gate? And I know you don't know which is which, but how does that one smell? It smells, I smell like a vanilla smell in it. Okay. Is it soft? Is it it's projecting? It's very soft. Okay. And I sprayed that one really good you as did? well. Yeah. But the yes. vanilla is what you really pick up on that? I do smell vanilla in it. Okay. But it smells good. And it, but it's soft, right? Yes. Okay. So here is the other one I sprayed. How, do you, how does that one smell to you? It's, it's a lot softer than the first one. It's a lot softer yes. than the first one. Like, it's barely there. Okay. But it does smell good. Okay. W which one do you think smells the best? This one smells stronger, but I think I like this one better. You like that one better? Okay. Yes, I do. Okay. Perfect. I like this one better. Okay, so you picked this one. All right. Yes. So should I reveal to everybody or should I wait until I've, I've done my smell test? I think you should wait till you're doing yours. Okay, so what I want you to do is I'm going to step off camera so I can't see you because I don't want to cheat. Okay. And I want you to, if you want to spray, don't use these because they already have the scent, but if you wanted to spray each wrist okay. with either one of these, um, Tuxedo YSL and Mustache EDP, okay. spray your wrist, I'll come back in and I'll I'll smell both wrists. Make sure you remember which is on which wrist. And then I'll spray and tell you tell you what I think without knowing. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay. 
And I don't know which is which. So which wrist would you like me to smell first? This one. Okay. Ah, uh, I loved, I love how smooth that is. Uh, very boozy, very, I love the vanilla. All right, let me smell the other one. Okay, this one is a little bit more, I don't know if pungent's the right word because pungent's usually associated with uh, bad smelling because it's not bad smelling, but it's, it's a little bit stronger and I definitely smell more citrus. Can I guess which one this is? Mm -hmm. This one is the mustache and that one is the, uh, is the YSL tuxedo. Correct, and I like this one better. Okay, and you picked tuxedo. This one? Yes, you actually so picked YSL like tuxedo. On, the, on this one? So that's the one you liked, mm -hmm. and I actually like, like this one. I actually like YSL as well. So what I, what I noticed right away is in the YSL, it's a lot smoother. I feel like it's blended way better. Now guys, you're gonna spend $300 YSL tuxedo. It's uh, every, every one of these uh, designer fragrances are now coming out with Privé lines. Um, just to kind of keep up with some of these niche brands, it's kind of their way of doing niche. Um, I know Tom Ford was you know, kind of the pioneer of this. Um, you know, it's a designer name, but with a more niche luxury uh, branding to it. And this tuxedo is one of the ones in their line. And for me, this, no one told me about this. I didn't hear this from any fragrance reviewer. I'm sure they talked, plenty of them talked about it, but um, I kind of find this, found this one on my own. And just to put the dots together, the only reason why I even ordered this decant, and this is so silly, is because I love James Bond. And when I think of James Bond, I think of tuxedo. And I was like, this has got to smell good. So I ordered it and I fell in love with it. It was love at first sniff. Now, I only have a decant because it's 300 bucks a bottle. And if you go on certain uh, places online, you can find it for, you know, sometimes on eBay, you can get it for 200 and some fragrance uh, groups, um, whatever, you can uh, find it pretty cheap and stuff like that. You just gotta know where to look. But, so this one's kind of pricey. Whereas this mustache, which is a friend of mine just recently schooled me on this, but I'd like to call these interpretations instead of clones. This is a great interpretation of tuxedo. It's just a little bit different. This one's, you can smell the citrus more in this. And it's just, it, it's kind of like, it gives me a, a vibe of um, red tobacco because it comes mm -hmm. out just a little bit more harsher. Not as harsh as red tobacco, but it's a little more harsher, but then it dries down into something beautiful. And um, I really like both of them. And hey, for 50 bucks, as opposed to 250, yeah. this is a great interpretation. So on a scale of one to 10, this being the ultimate winner, uh, Tuxedo, how close would you say Mustache EDP is to Tuxedo? If you were to say like, you know, 60%, 70%, 80%, and I'll tell you what I'm thinking. I would say 75-ish. Yeah, okay, I was thinking like 80. Mm -hmm. um, so it's like, it, to me, it's, it's close. It's just not as smooth. It's not blended as smoothly. It's not, and this one's so, for only being fifty dollars, it's so strong. And I found, to, yeah. But I like how smooth text. I is. found this. Um, I found this one on eBay because it, it's hard to find. I was having a hard time finding. In fact, the first time I tried to order this, I made the stupid mistake of buying the EDT. And I was so mad because I was like, what's wrong with my batch? Because everyone told me this smelled like tuxedo. And I was like, this doesn't smell anything like tuxedo. And then I found out Dummy just ordered the wrong thing. And so it's not so, the same thing? No, they're not the same. That smells totally different. That smells kind of more gentlemanly, um, you know, doesn't smell anything like it at all. It's more lemony. It like pledge. <laughs> it does. It's more of like a cleaner, but it does, it dries down into something that's more. I don't more, hate it though. No, I don't hate it. It's. It's more of a gentleman the old time, more mature fragrance. But anyway, okay, so I wore both of these um, to work on my arm. I sprayed the heck out of both arms. So I was covered from down my shoulder all the way down my arm and same with this one. In fact, this thing used to be full and now it's empty, which makes me sad. So I'm gonna have to get another decant well, or nice. hopefully the tax man will send me those uh, the tax quick and I'll be able to buy it because I really do want to own it in my collection. Um, okay, so what I noticed about Moustache is, is that it does last. Um, it lasted throughout the day, but what happened is, is it quickly turned into a softer, almost skin scent. 
Now, on the places where I got, got it on my clothes, I could smell it and I was picking up wafts of it. But when you compare it side by side, there is more of a citrusy kind of smell to mustache. And it, just, it, turned, it turned soft. I could still smell it. But then when I was smelling my arm all day on tuxedo, and I'm just giving you my, my opinion, everybody has, one of the things about fragrances that I think some people get bent out of shape is if you don't like it the way they do, people tend to get their feelings or emotions evolved. And I've heard that mustache lasts all day long on some people, but for me it lasted, but it was just really soft. And hey, you can't beat that for 50 bucks, you know? But tuxedo, I could smell the smoothness of it the blend of it all day long, and it was pushing hard on me into the six hour mark. Now, by the time I got off work, it was a whole lot softer, and the mustache was barely, I could barely smell it. Which is weird because I can barely smell a tuxedo on me. That's the thing, it's gonna be different on everybody. We all have a different uh, thumbprint, we all have different chemistry, we all have different DNA, we all sweat differently. Um, so there's so much, our pheromones are different, it's different. So what's gonna smell good on me may smell like trash on somebody else. And longevity and all that is not the same, it's not a one size fits all deal. Mm -hmm. it, it's different for everybody. Because if you read comments and reviews, some people will say something lasts for 24 hours and it may only last two hours on me. Who's right, who's wrong? Well, we're both right. Mm -hmm. We each have our own individual journey and it takes us different places. There are those fragrances where there's, where there's a fragrance that everybody's gonna love it. There's those fragrances where everybody hates it. But then there are those fragrances where it's just different depending on who, who buys it. So, um, but anyways, for me, the winner of this one was clearly Tuxedo. So Tuxedo is the champion in today's round. And I'm in section if you want me to do more versus videos. I think they'd be fun and I really want to do more. But which one lasts longer on you? If, you, if you've tried out both Tuxedo and Moustache, which one won in your contest, so to speak. Um, for me, it was uh, tuxedo all the way. It, was, it smells, to my nose, it's blended better, and it better be for 300 bucks. It lasted longer, and I just really, really loved it way more than I love Now, with that being said, I'm gonna spray the heck out of this mustache because I really like it. And um, it's a, by the way, both of these fragrances, I probably should say, are perfect for this time of year, perfect mm -hmm. for the cold weather, because they, they do have a sweetness with the vanilla. Um, they're very beautiful fragrances, very boozy. Um, you're definitely gonna turn heads, you're definitely gonna get compliments. They have, both have a warming, cozy vibe to them. It's perfect for the fall, perfect for the winter. Um, you can dress these fragrances up, and if I wore YSL tuxedo, I would definitely be wearing it to church, board meetings, um, just whatever, where you're trying to boost up your confidence. Um, yeah, you probably could wear them dressed down as well, but I feel like these are more either date night, special occasion, or you're really trying to turn heads, both of these fragrances. So they're, they're definitely winter fragrances as well. So that's what I have to say about those two. Like I said, let me know where I went wrong in the comments. Let me know what you guys like. What is, what is your favorite between mustache and tuxedo? I love hearing from you. All right, guys, if I've added any value to you whatsoever in this video and you've stayed this far, please go ahead and hit the like button. Go ahead and subscribe. Tell all your friends about the video. I love hearing from you guys. Thank you as always. Thank you, Mandy, for joining me. Mm -hmm. um, I have fun doing this. We both have fun. It's been a fun year and more exciting, awesome things are coming for this year as well with the Fragrance Channel. So thank you guys. And as always, remember to be yourself. As long as yourself smells good. Thank you guys.